guys, what's going on? It's Greggles TV. Today I am going to show you how to share photos and photo albums with Google Photos. It's it's very, very similar to what iPhone has with PhotoStream. It's basically the same thing, except PhotoStream only works with Apple devices. This works with Android phones, Apple devices, computers, Macs, everything. It's really, really cool. So first off, if you're using a Android phone or an iOS device, you need to download and install, if you haven't already, Google Photos. So let's go to the App Store, hit search, type in Google Photos, and there it is. It's going to bring you to the page. I already have it installed, so otherwise you would install it right here. I'm going to hit open. Now if you want to share some photos or videos, all you have to do is press and hold on the photo and now you have your check boxes so you just check the boxes for the photos that you want to share. So I'll do those two photos and then I will do a video. And then you hit your share icon up here, especially if it's Android, otherwise the share icon in an iPhone is like a uh, circular arrow and we have this little design. So hit that and then right here, new shared album. So just click that. Now it says link copy to clipboard, share it with an app. Now depending upon what device your friend or your family member is using, um, you can either instant message it to them, you can text it, email it, however you want. You can post it on the internet, whatever. So I will just choose email. So I'm gonna send it to myself, greggelstv at gmail.com. And then I'm just going to say photos. And I am going to send it. I received the email, so all I'm going to do is click on the link. And it's asking me if I want to open up with photos, Chrome, or internet. I'm going to choose photos because photos is going to be where I see all my photos. Hit OK to that, and it should show me the shared files. And here they are. So I got my photo right there this photo as well, and then a video. And the video, depending upon your connection, should play fairly soon. Hey guys, what's going on? It's so, you, so you can see there's not that much of a delay, especially with photos, they come up instantly, just like PhotoStream does for iPhone. From the hamburger menu, all you have to do is click Shared Albums, and it'll bring you to your shared albums. This is the three photos that I shared. One, two, three, and then there's a video. So that's really cool. You can also do this from the computer. I will show you that next. On your computer, all you have to do is log into your Gmail account. Once you're on your Gmail account, go to Google or any search engine and go to Google Photos. Or you can just type in photos.google.com. Once you have that website up, it's going to bring you to your photos. Once you're logged into Google Photos, it's going to log you into your photos. So I don't have any photos on this account. I only have shared albums. So if I click this hamburger menu in the top left and then go to shared albums, it's going to show me my shared albums. And it shows me the photos that we're all sharing and we're all able to add photos. You can see the people's names up here who are sharing the photos. Very cool. To the top right, you can add to the library. You can add to the album. You can share it and then there's more options. You can download all of them, leave the album. So just like PhotoStream on iPhone, except this is cross-platform, so it's better. And it's unlimited storage, so that's even better and better and better. So Google keeps making all this stuff really cool. Again, all these options that you see up here in the top right where you can add photos and download and leave the group, you can do that from the app as well, so don't forget that. And this is what it looks like on an iPhone if you send an iPhone user a link. Uh, to photos to see. Um, they click on the link, it opens up Google Photos as long as they have Google Photos installed and then you can see at the bottom right there uh, they can hit join and they'll join the album and they can add photos or view the photos as well. Guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace!